qua volume maar ongeveer dat. Ja. Misschien en nu, iets zachter nog. Het uh, geluid Denk staat het aan. Ja. Ja. Omdat ik nu mijn plektrum speel en die, die nummer straks zonder plektrum. Dus dan is er wel verschil. Dus het geluid voor de ons moet even aan. Ja, nu. Ja, ja. Is goed. Zou het eens aan Ik denk ook wel toch wel van het derde liedje ongeveer. Okay. Dus ik denk dat het gewoon zo goed is. Nee, het is gewoon een soort pre-roll pre dit. Ja, maar blijf hoor. Goed zo, gelukkig. Dat is gewoon mooi toch? Hm? Ik kopen. <laughs> Jij weet dat dat soort jaar ik, ik heb al vijf maanden niet gespeeld. Ik nee. koop nu ah. wel wat plezier hoor. Ja, nee. <laughs> nee, Jij weet dat dat soort jaar uh, ja, ik kon, uh, ja. verbeteren. Ja, ook op de speakers ook fijn. Ja, achtergezet, want het was daar niet, in, niet zichtbaar. Dus, uh, Rienus, het bordje gaat op, op uh, recording als hij live gaat, hè? Ja, is goed. Ja, doe het. Ja. Dan weten we allemaal back te houden. Ja. ja. Oh, wel. Ook wel deze inklap hoor. Ja. Ik heb die opname van uh, uh, Obscure Atlas, die is wel gaaf. Ja. Maar met dezelfde, dezelfde microfoon. Wonder what I ought to do if 
If I could only fly, if I could only fly, I bid this place goodbye. Come and be with you, but I can hardly stand. I've got nowhere to run. Another sinking sun, another lonely night. The wind keeps blowing somewhere every day. Tell me things get better somewhere up the way. This dismal thinking on a dismal day. Sad songs for us to bear. You know, sometimes I write happy songs, then sometimes a little thing goes wrong. I wish I knew how to make you smile. Maybe together we can get away. Coming home soon, and I wanna stay. Wish you could come with me when I go again. If I could only fly, if I could only fly, I bid this place goodbye. Come and be with you, but I can hardly stand. I got nowhere to run. Another sinking sun. Not a lonely First song was a song written by uh, a guy named Blaze Foley, one of my favorite songwriters. And this one is written by a guy named Tim Knoll <laughs> from a small town from the Netherlands, Horden. Horden. That's me. And this is a song called Sam. Oh yeah, I had. No, sorry. Yeah, this is my this is my camera. Yeah. Okay. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's leaving on a midnight train. Holes in his shoes, holes in his brain. Holes in his hand where the money goes through. But an excuse to leave and a one way ticket too. Sam's leaving town, Sam's leaving town. Sam's leaving town, Sam's leaving town He lost control he Tried to live his own rock and roll But after many years, he lost his self-control Every band we rehearsal turned out into a big fight Be smart, Sam, turn on your light Sam's leaving town, Sam's leaving Sam's leaving town, Sam's leaving town He lost control He's got friends, can you call them friends? He's got a home, can you call it a home? No real love, only one night stands 
what you call rock and roll. Oh, rock and roll, Sam's leaving on a midnight train. Drunk and coke to the brim again. Boards the train to nowhere land. The final stop, the start of the end. Sam's leaving town, Sam's leaving town. Sam's leaving town, Sam's leaving town. Sam's leaving town, Sam's leaving town. Town, Well, uh, uh, loads of hellos, also from Canada. Oh. And um, yeah, most of them say uh, it eases the COVID pain by a lot <laughs> <laughs> by uh, listening to you. Music. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, there are no concerts, so. Not, not in Holland. No. No. I saw, I saw a show by Crowded House in Australia a couple of days ago. With wow. two two thousand people, and last night the Dutch. Uh, uh, football team played for some uh, yeah. with a crowd yeah. in the stadium, but True. Yeah. that's it. There are some for pilot now. runs. Yeah. yeah. So how long ago have, have you been playing for an audience? Um, I think my last show with an audience was late November. Yeah. And so four months now. And how many people were <laughs> in the room? One hundred. Oh. Uh, thirty. Okay. Uh, wow. For for a couple months was just thirty people, and then yeah. they scaled it up yeah. to uh, like one hundred, one hundred fifty, but. That's it. That's it. So hopefully uh, this summer or uh, in the fall oh we'll be man. playing for bigger crowds again. Yeah, I, I hope so again, especially for all the artists. I mean, it must be boring. It's a bit boring. Yeah. That's why this is a nice welcome. Okay. Yeah, I'm very glad to be here. Well, so, uh, our viewers as well, they're very happy. Um, let's introduce a test. Then you are going to record a song, yep. which we're going to use. Um, it's kind of a, a rerun. And now I'm going to talk to that camera again. Uh, it's kind of a rerun from a test we did. It is. In uh, November last year, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We also had the Grimm, the Dutch and Dutch, and the ATC. But back then we had um, the Grimm LS1 BE, the Beryllium edition. Which uh, is 36,000 euros. Yeah. There. With the subwoofers, we had the SCM 50A, which was around 18. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not sure yet. And we had the Dutch and Dutch 8C. Now we have the 8C as well, um, and the Grim, but it's the LS1A without the subs, so it's around 13,000. And we have the SCM 40A, which is 89, but it's going to be more expensive due to Brexit. So around April, it's going to be 95 fish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's and then we have the Dutch and Dutch. So it's more equalized in terms yeah. of pricing. Absolutely. And I'm going to explain by a bit, because then we're going to record uh, and we're going to introduce each speaker extensively. Mm -hmm. But think of this. The LS1A is digital and analog in, so you don't need a DA converter. Um, the 8C is digital and analog in, so you don't need a uh, DA converter. You mean the D&D? Yeah, the D&D 8C. Uh, and the ATC is analog only, so you do need a yeah. DA converter if you want to be more flexible. Uh, the LS1A you can extend with a subwoofer. The 8C from Dutch and Dutch you need a stand mount. So, you know, it, it is quite equalized if you think about it. Yes, the Grim is more expensive, but it has a DA converter. Mm -hmm. And with the uh, Dutch and Dutch, you need a stand mount. So all in all, I think it's around an equal field this time. It's more honest. And um, I have some notes, extensive notes, because we, um, well, they called me <laughs> for a couple of reasons uh, after last time. So um, I'm not going to talk too much. First, we're going to record a track. And then we're going to um, explain how we're going to test and equalize all the decibels and stuff like that. Yes, and maybe Tim, uh, 
before, I don't know if you're ready for it, but some, some people in the audience asked them, they, they were admiring your microphone. So yeah. So maybe it's all yours, right? You, the stuff you are playing is through so, yeah. is your set. So this maybe is my you can explain, people. Th yeah, this is my live setup. So um, when I play solo acoustic in theaters, uh, it's, um, um, this is uh, from Portland, Oregon. It's Ear Trumpet, that's the brand, and it's called the Edwina. This, the, this is my kind of microphone. It's kind of steampunk vibe. Yeah. And uh, for the guitar, you know, I play with the DI's for years, but I really start to hate the DI sound, especially when you play solo acoustic. Sometimes it's nice, but this is my my favorite to go set. It's uh, two soups uh, in front of the guitar mm -hmm. because you you know they pick the character of the guitar because this guitar is like from 34, 1934. It's it's aged so good and it sounds so great, and when you put it when you plug it in into a DI, it's, it loses all the character. You capture the air, I guess. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah. That's, it, that's it. And you don't have issues with feedback stuff? Well, when I play solo, I, I don't use any monitoring. So okay. it's all acoustic on stage. Yeah. So the sound guy, the front of house sound guy, he can just do whatever he wants. And never I have uh, issues with um, okay. feedback. So. so we're hearing Tim Knoll as if you're live on stage. Exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it should be the yeah. same. Though. Also, uh, uh, I, I, I use the shoops in studio recording uh, during studio recordings as well because it's, it's a nice, it's yeah. nice, it's a nice, it's a nice microphone to put in front of acoustic instruments. Definitely. So, uh, yeah. Um, Should we record? Yeah, we're gonna record this song and we're gonna use it in the. Um, in a test. test a lot of pressure and a lot, lot of pressure. yeah no no pressure it's uh, <laughs> it's one uh, one go breathe only. in breathe out yeah <laughs> and after this uh, tim is going to join us uh by listening in yeah and this is uh, this is going to be a, i'm going going to play a brand new song um it's called you don't want to miss the show okay tim knoll <laughs> You better walk on, said the doctor, walk up for your sins, and talk to your friends and family about the shape you're in. Now, buddy, you don't want to miss the show. There's a dream in the distance, catch it if you can. Find your spirit and ease the mind. Feel the need to shine Feel the need to shine Waiting for the day to break Waiting for the night to fall Get away from the riffraff in the city Escape from the howling hearts Over yonder they are waiting for you Over yonder they are love you too now everybody has got to know It will be different from now on Now buddy you don't want to miss the show There's a dream in the distance Catch it if you can Find your spirit and ease the mind Feel the need to shine Feel the need to shine song uh someone wants to invite you for a live stream let's go let's we're go. already in a live stream yeah we are already <laughs> doing that um sounds really good yeah 
Well, they say if it sounds just as good on the speakers as it did on the live stream, then uh, okay. we're doing really great. So only compliments, yeah. That's nice to hear. Um, I'm really looking forward to hear my this song that I just played on speakers like these. Yeah, it should be top notch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if it's not, <laughs> we have a big problem. <laughs> we have a definite. Uh, no, nah, I, no I, I, I heard them yesterday, and it, it, so it sounded great in the during yeah, sound check already. So yeah, uh, it's it's not bad. But this yeah. is a brand new song. Are you preparing a new album, Tim? Yeah, I'm, I'm working on a new record now. Yeah, yeah. So um, hopefully this fall some new music. Yeah. yeah. Cool. But it takes some. You know, I have to find the right studio, or right musicians. Mm -hmm. So it takes a while. So it's with the band. You're playing not yeah. another solo. Yep. You know, for um, people who don't know Tim Knoll, which is very unlikely. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> in Australia. We're only famous in Holland. <laughs> no. Is that, is that true? Well, famous in the US? No, not really. You know, the funny not thing. Not yet. Is After this stream, maybe. Yeah. We did some quick and dirty recordings on the previous microphones we used, mm -hmm. and we used that in a live stream once. Oh yeah, yeah. And. People said that's really nice. W who is this? So well, yeah, and that was not as good as. <laughs> no, this is different. Uh, yeah. Maybe this is a different yeah. caliber. Yeah, I'm gonna introduce some uh, uh, some testing procedures because last time we did these uh, speakers, we didn't level it, and we played a lot louder on the Grim LS1BE as we did on the other speakers, and that's not fair because louder sounds better. Uh, so we have a dB meter, meter now, which is, uh, we're going to calibrate on 74 decibels for each speaker. So that's one. And we use some new microphones. And I'm very proud of them. <laughs> uh, they're the DPA 4015A. A. And um, yeah, it's uh, a little bit better than the Rode TF5 we used, uh, which are not bad but these are just better. So you guys should have a better recording than we did in the previous streams. Uh, also, we um, taped all the speakers like we used to. So they're all gonna be positioned in the right way and we have to place the mics. So one warning, and I warned Tim already um, before we did this, we need to place the microphones spot on, otherwise they're out of phase. With, with pink noise. Yeah. So Jung is going to calibrate on 74 decibels then, and I'm going to position the microphones just right. So yeah. uh, you guys have a good recording. Yeah, about the microphones, DPA, for um, the connoisseurs, they should know that DPA, the Danish brand, yeah. used to be Brulenkia, uh, only made microphones and only the top end. So uh, yeah. there is no... I, no bad I, have DPA. I have not met a uh, sound engineer who does not like or not like who uh, who values a DPA. No. Uh, it's expensive. Uh, <laughs> no kidding. But the technique is actually um, developed in the 50s. Yeah. And they developed it for measuring purposes. So all the um, uh, things we now know on dBs and loudness on planes or whatever, it's, 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 it's calib calibrated with DPA microphones. Yeah. And wha what you might hear for uh, faithful listeners that you could hear uh, more depth in yeah. the low end, more oomph, more, uh, yeah, more rhythm. It's, it's l as if, Yapto wrote me this week, you wrote me, it's as if the microphones are not there. No, it's it's like uh, uh, listening through a window. I, it's it's really really clean, and especially the bass is beautiful on these DPAs. And it was something we lacked in the ro Rode. I, it had a pretty much yeah, it had roll it had a steep roll off. And uh, these are off axis, just as linear as on axis, which is incredible. Uh, the biggest competitor is of course the Shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, one of yeah. them. And we tried them as well. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the Shoes are. Uh, for for testing speakers, no. it's it's you know it's different. It's different microphone. It's definitely, it's lovely for it character. It has some coloration. I exactly, guess, your shoops. Yeah. yeah, it's which is nice for a guitar or violin or a cello, but not for testing speakers. No, it, they're they're not linear. They're for m instrument recording. Exactly, and it's a different purpose. And I'm getting that now. I'm not a microphone expert, but um, let's try uh, the. Grim on the first song. Um, Martijn. Are we playing Tim? 
Uh, I don't think so, not, not yet. Because Martijn, the engineer, is now is mastering, mastering and leveling the track. Maybe uh, it's Usually good, that's the yeah. process of one day. And uh, uh, the guys Mixing, behind mastering. us are uh, yeah, so amazing. Working hard in the studio. They, uh, they can do it uh, in not a few minutes. Not, not yet. It's not in yet. Um, but um, it, it, uh, I can tell you it takes a day of preparation every time we do this live stream for, for them to to get everything right. So that means that you have to actually have to prepare everything you're doing afterwards to doing uh, before. Yeah, yeah, true. Martijn is uh, having a thumbs up. Yeah, I, I saw the stick going in there. So um, uh, he, he just informed, it, informed us that it's ready. Yeah. So, um, Tim. Mm. Uh, Shivers uh, in your spine. Uh, I hate listening to myself. But you on do. these speakers, it might be uh, might be more fun. <laughs> Force rescan. I, I think it's better. <laughs> Probably. Um, edit. Play Larger than edit. live, Tim. Unknown artist. This should be it. Mix down, Tim. Yeah, there we go. Mix down, Tim. Uh, add to playlist. Test list. Yes. Okay, it's in there. Uh, playlists. Okay. Jaap is updating his Instagram. There we go, people. You better walk on, set doctor, walk up for your sins, and talk to your friends and family about the shape you're in. Now, buddy, you don't want to miss the show. There's a dream in the distance, catch it if you can. Find your spirit and ease the mind. Feel the need to shine. Feel the need to shine. Waiting for the day to break. Waiting for the night to fall. Get away from the riffraff in the city. Escape from the howling hearts. Over yonder they are waiting for you. Over yonder they are love you too. Now everybody has got to know. It will be different from now on. Now buddy you don't want to miss the show. There's a dream in the distance. Catch it if you can. Find your spirit and ease the mind. Feel the need to shine. Feel the need to shine. Now, buddy, you don't want to miss the show. Catch it if you can Find your spirit and ease the mind Feel the need to shine Feel the need to shine Feel the need to so funny because the tubes are a little bit stereo uh, yeah panned yeah probably so when i move around with the guitar just a little <laughs> tiny inch yeah you, you hear it you, you hear it immediately it was so close the guitar was i think this distance from the yeah, microphone so 30? when you just do yeah this change it a little it, 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 it also reflects i guess definitely it's very accurate but the sound actually you, you hear we hear i heard more than I then over there. I was two meters we were apart. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, the, the, the voice. I think I can hear even the characteristic of the microphone. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Th th it does yeah. have a sort of a signature. It's uh, Yeah, true. Wow. So, and how was it for you to listen to? Uh, yeah, nice. Uh, I, I, like the, I like the guitar sound a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a warm, warm sound my opinion f 
I, I have no idea how to comp to compare. I can't compare it yet with the other ones, no, of course. No, I have no but, idea. But uh, no idea. It, it sounds sort of warm and 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 like you're like I'm playing over there. But you can compare it to your other recordings. Yeah, but it's so difficult to yeah. uh, compare it uh, because you know they mixed it here now. I have yeah. no idea what they exactly did, so it's that's hard to hear. Yeah. Those normally, are some wise normally words. I listen. <laughs> normally I listen to um, like how much low is there in my voice when I yeah. record in a studio. I'm I'm listening to like mixing. Yeah. So then this is a finished product. So it's difficult to ex yeah. to m and when I, when I hear it f through other speakers, I might have can tell you a little bit more yeah. about it because yeah. now I don't have any references. But actually, you should see this as a kind of uh, live studio recording. So. Yeah. Imagine that, yeah. it, that it, there's no audience. Well, there is an audience. There's there an is audience an audience. Yes. <laughs> but uh, actually, and the mixing is done by the front of house engineer. Yeah. A little bit. Then, th th then this is great. Yeah. When I if if this is uh, my live sh my live show, yeah. then it's it's a really good I sound. I thought it was it sounded like really being at Tim Knoll at home. You were you yeah, were just when right I there. When I record my my stuff solo without a band, uh, I I hate to add t uh, reverb or uh, yeah. or echoes because uh, I want the listener to be in the same room as I'm as I am. Yeah. So when I record solo acoustic, it's like n uh, uh, not so not too much uh, effects on it. Was it also on your? A record on 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 cassette tape because you made a yeah that's that's dry as <laughs> yes it's dry it's as yeah, hell yeah it's really dry <laughs> yeah because yeah then then you have this effect that I am sitting next right next playing right next to you and that's yeah. that's the fun thing about this about this setup and I I, I talked to Martijn who is uh, mm -hmm. and and engineer. Rinus the engineers about uh, the verb and uh, and this this is really dry this is quite yeah. dry this yes but it, it's supposed to be but. Because if if we don't, you get double the acoustics. Yeah, it's gonna be terrible for our viewers. I love to have it dry. Because oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And actually, these yeah. grims are used in the studio also yes. as mastering speakers. Mastering so speakers, so yeah. this is what you usually this is a get. Speaker, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's what you usually get when you. What's uh, the price? The cost. Thirteen. A speaker. No, no, no. The no. set. Okay. And then yeah. you have yeah. the uh, electronics with it. So there's a DA converter. Right. It's already built in. A, pro it's a, a DSP. Total solution. Yeah, let's talk about speaker, by the way. Yeah. Um, I'm going to introduce Grim a little bit uh, because I, I want to give some background behind the speakers you have because maybe that will help get the philosophy. Um, Grim Audio is a Dutch company. Uh, it's founded in 2004 by Ilko Grim. Yeah. And Ilko Grim is uh, a person that works in a studio. Hmm. He also teaches uh, at the HKU uh, all about sound. Yeah, the School of, of art, the Arts in Utrecht, yeah. and he is uh, teaching sound engineering, actually. Yeah. We interviewed uh, uh, Guido and Ilko uh, yeah, uh, last summer mm -hmm. in this studio, actually, and they gave some background uh, about why they teach and uh, why they build the products as they do. Um, Ilko started out with clock generators for studios, really high-end stuff, clock uh, generators. And with Bruno Pizzeis, uh, a Belgium guy that actually invented class, now no, he didn't invent class D, but he made class D amplification a lot better. The implementation of class D yeah. in, in domestic yeah. uh, uh, audio, I Started guess. Started with UCD, uh, then Encore, and now it's Eigentag with two other people. Um, and they use Encore technology in the speaker. And I was surprised because um, class D amplification is normally a little bit sharp and, and sounding harsh if you don't do it right. But this speaker doesn't sound harsh. Mm, not at all. Not at all. So not, not with this recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only with Tim Knoll. <laughs> only with Tim Knoll. <laughs> no, but I, I, I'm, I'm really curious if can we, uh, to, do you know, when you add like bass... Oh like yeah, low, we got We we have some tracks that good we'll because I, I love to I love to hear it with the uh, yeah yeah we we're gonna with the we'll band yeah um, they co-op with a lot of other uh, companies the LS one A is their entry level model so realize that this is thirteen thousand euros a pair without a subwoofer without a controller and this is their entry level product after this the LS one is up in the line and after that 
you get the LS1 Beryllium Edition we did last time, and that's 36,000 with everything. But yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, this one uh, will um, has face correction built in. It has toe in correction built in. Um, so you can actually say it's 30 degrees toe in or 45, and it will correct the stereo image according to how you place them. So why is it placed like this? Uh, can you explain why? Because normally, usually we do it more... Yeah, it's say, it's for studio use. Degrees. So they cross before you. Yeah. Uh, and that way uh, yeah, it's... Around the table, right? Yeah, I, I'm not a really studio guy. So I don't know why you should cross before and not yeah. on the couch or behind the couch. And we it's probably be cross where it's where the engineers... I think so. ...is seated. I think so. It's because you you, you want to sit in the hot spot. Yeah, yeah. It probably that's the reason. But for domestic use, you mo mostly cross behind the couch or on mm -hmm. the couch. But you can correct it in on on the back yeah, panel. Yeah. You, uh, no, in the software, you software. can connect it to the to the network. So they have their own apples. Yes, they do, and a controller, and you get inputs right. and everything. Um, this one goes from forty-five hertz to forty kilohertz, but it will get to thirty-five. So that's all about Grimm and their philosophy and their lineup. Uh, let's do another track. And is sure. it possible to add a subwoofer with yes, this? Yes, definitely. With this, this yes, setup? Yes, of course. Yeah. And okay. you have the... Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> good one. Let's play the trailer video for you guys. I forgot that. <laughs> uh, let's play the trailer video and then you can see a little bit more about this speaker. Mastering speakers. This is this is a nice price. I, I think mean, so yeah. for high-end mastering. Yeah, it's, it's not, not that expensive. No, no. I mean, sometimes your speakers, thirty, forty thousand a pair. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. This is nice. Pr this is well priced. And they look good. No, they they don't look. Uh, it's yeah. sexy, and I I like the name. Grim. Grim. Yeah. Yeah. He's, the he's Grim lucky. Reaper. He's lucky. His <laughs> last name is Grim. <laughs> <and not> Hoekstra. <laughs> oh, actually, Hoekstra what speaker Knoll. <laughs> You know the Grim, Elko Grim. Uh, he is uh, Grim is a spin-off of the good old Philips Netlab uh, ah. audio. And what they did actually with this series is to make a digital version of the famous motion feedback. Yeah, Philips. I don't, oh. I don't know if you know that, but that's no. uh, it was one of the first active speakers with a, a sort of a DSP. And yeah, it was correction. analog DSP. -ing. You talk about it like it's le a legendary speaker. And it you're is. You're yeah. talking yeah. about the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah. it was a speaker that had power cord on it. Yeah. Right. And a DIN plug. Yeah. Right. And it was called motional feedback. So there was a, and what it was of course all analog. And what they did is digitize, digitize it. Yeah, but it's a high-end subwoofer. So let's not forget it's twelve thousand euros a pair. Yeah. For those subs. And yeah. at that time, motion it's feedback it's was also insanely ins ins yeah. expensive. And this one is also, but it's insanely good. Well, let's play some music for our viewers. Um, we're going to go to our famous track from Bach. And uh, let's see how the bass punch is. And you wanted some bass, right? right there we go. Some.
well. <laughs> it's also the recording maybe a little bit, but uh, like the bass drum, it's really punchy. Yeah. And I, I don't feel the the subs, the sub low. It's really clean. It's yeah. really clean. And yeah. also with the with the you, when you hear listen to the bass, uh, the double yeah. bass, yeah, yeah, it's it sounds you you really hear the crispiness of yeah. the of the the attack of yeah. the of the instrument. But that that and that's really nice, I think, because you 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 really want to hear the like the sound of an instrument, and yeah, it's you really you clean. You hear the richness of the double bass. No, usually in mediocre speaker sets, you hear just mm -hmm. yeah, you hear all the detail. And uh, yeah. but when you're mastering a track it's really important you hear all the details because you sometimes you want to remove a little bit of yeah. that yep. or add a little extra yep. so that's that's really nice but you write the low the really sub low and eh, is not there no it's missing that's why you probably need those subs yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it, it is an addition i think uh, you should do i so also so wrote it in the review I how much are the subs uh, six thousand i think a pair for the normal ones and they're, they're actually really good so you don't need the DMF version. I, I have an answer from uh, the the producer. <laughs> uh, the toy. Yeah, he said the LS1 uh, is uh, cut at 35 for you guys in this studio, so it doesn't go any further than 35. Mm. Toe in is to avoid reflection from the side walls and um, to give uh, a wider image, um, a wider and a more even image on the spot. Right. So that's the reason they say you need a lot of toe-in. Right. Uh, that's a good point because you don't want side reflections in your uh, in your mastering session. So th that's why. Um, mastering is the most important thing in the end. Yeah. If if a master well, is not good, it sucks on radio. Yeah. It sucks yeah. on uh, CD on on vinyl. It, it it's really important. Breaks your recording. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, last song, James Taylor. Um, that's one of uh, Rina's favorites. Yeah, and we're playing it because we also played it when we yep. tested the D and D and the you know the the In high the end, uh, uh, the different price tag, uh, active monitor. W which year was it recorded? Seventies. No, Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. And we're still trying to find out. It was recorded in uh, L.A. Uh, in the store. Wasn't it like a Neve table? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, Rinus like is trying uh, to find out what uh, what, uh, what what what's the person now because the amazing thing is that uh, the recording is very dynamic. I, at in the end, you hear that the symbols are way too loud for the tape, hmm. and which uh, is nice. Which is nice because yeah. you compress it. Yeah, natural compression, like so that. So well, wa wait and hear. Yeah, it's yeah I'm looking I forward to hear this. I love this recording. I didn't know it, but it's it's really nice. It's a high five from the sixties. High five from the sixties. Yes. <laughs> Just yesterday morning, they let me know you were gone. Suzanne, the plans they made put an end to you I walked out this morning and I wrote down this song I just can't remember who to send it to I've seen fire and I've seen rain I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end seen lonely times when I could not find a friend But I always thought that I'd see you again Won't you look down upon me, Jesus You gotta help me make a stand You just got to see me through another day my body's aching and my time is at hand and I won't make it any other way Whoa, I've seen fire and I've seen rain I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend but I always thought that 
that I'd see you again. Been walking my mind to an easy time, my back turned towards the sun. Lord knows when the cold wind blows, it'll turn your head around. Well, as I was the time on the telephone line to talk about things to come. Sweet dreams and flying machines in pieces on the ground. Whoa, I've seen fire and I've seen rain. I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end. I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend. But I always thought that I'd see you, baby. One more time again now. I thought I'd see you one more time again. There's just a few things coming my way this time around now. I thought I'd see you. Thought I'd see you. This recording, it's great because the vocals are dry. Yeah. And the drums, it's got a really nice verb on it. Sorry. It's really well mixed as did well. You know, did you know your song? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no, I never but listened to it on speakers like uh, this. And you, now, now you, it's so balanced and uh, it's really nice. It really pant. has three parts, the song. The three, three verses. And all the parts are different, differently arranged yeah it's mentally great produced and produced yeah, yeah the sound stage is and here i was really touched by actually yeah, by, yeah. by the sound by the by the voice i think uh, rinus when when he was here uh, i think he would say now this is how yeah the trailer sounds uh, because he he was there i guess uh, <laughs> uh i don't know Rinus. <laughs> you're, you're always there i know uh but um yeah, I, I really, ha you know, you had it f uh, earlier with listening to Krims, you were uh, touched. And I, I, this yeah. time I was really, I, I m maybe I missed something, I don't know. But I, I, I was f totally taken into the music. Yeah. As, and also the w with the lows, again, with the speaker, you hit a cello. And yeah. And the, and the lows on the cello are much nicer. Mm -hmm. Then the, the track before with the punchy uh, bass yeah. drum. Yeah, true. So yeah. then the lows are just more fluid yeah it's really nice on these speakers uh, because uh, you the also hear the when, when you play cello it's the what the stick yeah. I, don't, I don't know how to say yeah, it yeah, yeah yeah the stick i don't know yeah you hear the attack as well yeah. really neat like it's pl they, the cello plays right in front of you yeah I'm, I'm amazed by how good this recording is actually because it's done 69 completely analog and it sounds incredible it's, it's really well done and like you said you almost feel the fibers of the stick Going over the yeah. the snares. Well, uh, don't forget the the it's probably like a Neve table, and it's still the the, the best. Probably the yeah. high uh, the, in every st lots of studios they still record on on yeah on the same kind yes, of uh, and and you know, microphones. As, as you play on your ships, ships they are maybe four, 50 years old. In the end, the brand, yeah, the yeah, they the the never and yeah. The, the yeah, these as well. The, the design is as 50 I told you, the old. design is more than fifty years old. So you could say that oh, the bow, uh, the gold, bow, bow, yeah. the, bow the golden years yeah. of of recording Thanks. were in the fifties. You know, all these jazz recordings from Rudy van Gelder and all, all you know, they were all yeah. made on analog tube stuff. It's also the way, especially on those jazz recordings in the fifties and sixties, how they played. I mean, uh, the, the drummers back then, they they tuned their drum kits so good, and they yeah. played s like very d dynamic and ba uh, balanced. And then you just needed one great M Neumann above the drum kit, and then you have the best sound ever, probably. <laughs> but you need speakers like this to to finish it. Yeah, you know, to you finish it yeah, off. Yeah. Yes. But by then they didn't have that monitoring speakers with this quality. That's true. They had JBLs. But yeah. it's also with equalizing. Nowadays, with digital equalizer, you can do like you everything with it. But n back then, you just had knobs. <laughs> yeah. And you, and you up, <laughs> bass wow, mid treble. Wow. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> well, let's add some bass. <laughs> <laughs> and there's lots True. of bass, which is like primitive but great. It, 
Yeah. Yeah. And it works. And, and that and that's why probably a, a kick drum, like a drummer, needed to have his kick drum really nice tuned. Yeah. Because they couldn't change it that much with equalizing. Well, it's the same with analog pho photography. Now, now we have all digital cameras, and you can fix everything in post because you're shooting raw. But back then, you had film. Yeah, it was and not much. Yeah, you if you fucked it up, you had, you it had, was fucked up. You had different films, <laughs> yes. more like black and white, or color, Absolutely. or uh, different kind yeah, of colors. Yeah, yeah. Fuji, yeah. Kodak. And measure the lights and stuff. And yeah. it's the same with audio, of course. Let's uh, swap the speakers. Um, well, it, I think enough about the Grim. It, it it's. Well, the first one we did, we did, we don't have any comparison. I like just like the detail. Uh, it's a very, lot. very accurate, yeah. and uh, well, yeah, that's and what and we And the design, to. I think they're, you know, they stand out in studio speakers. Yeah. Well, uh, also these in your living room, it would be. Uh, it's just this. It's very attractive. I, I yeah. It's true. It's attractive, and it's, it's you feel like it's it's like the feeling of a studio a speaker because the other ones are just. Uh, not studio speakers. Well, yeah, the Dutch and Dutch is definitely pro. A to C right. as well. Yeah, yeah A to C. So as all well. studio speakers. It's all yet. studio. Okay, I, have, I had no idea because. Well, the A to C is the hi fi version of a studio speaker. Okay. But it's the same units, amps, it's just a different cabinet. Yeah, it's that's it. It looks a little bit better. Yeah. It's funny, always, always funny when I'm in with mixers. Yeah. They have these high end studio speakers yeah. for finishing. Yeah. But Crappy lots of ones. them are just. Mixing on crappy ones yeah. uh, to begin with, <laughs> and also to check it in the end. Oh yeah, like same here. Yeah, you have these cubes because you want to have the mix yeah. sound good on every yeah, yeah. It speaker needs to in sound the end. Good. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, Eric can uh, start the trailer video for the ATC, uh, and we uh, are gonna swap them out. Heavy lifting, forty kilos. Forty kilos, will do. Yeah. Set up the microphone uh, because on uh, the, the the microphones that are sensitive as these ones and they're not really straight yet. They want to. Yeah, it's just a normal left. Um, yeah. So uh, beware of your ears. What we'll do is having some make some pink noise and invert it, uh, face inverting, so we have it totally right for your yeah, ears. And we'll level it at 74. I have the remote. Roger. Ready for liftoff. Komt die eruit van die ATC?
Vorne is eentje staat om, schuin omhoog en staat niet horizontaal. Nee, dat klopt iets niet. Klopt. We hebben some technical uh, issues. Ja, dat valt wel mee. So one microphone was not positioned horizontally, <laughs> and uh, you could hear that it was not really face correct. So okay, but now it is. Now it is. So now we're having a face correct Tim Knoll again. <laughs> ATC British. Yeah. It, this is the actually the domestic version of studio speaker. Yeah. Uh, active, all analog. Uh, so no digital inputs whatsoever. No, fully Just analog. Just an amp behind the speaker. Hij is, Three way. Hij is 74 hier. Dit gecheckt? Ja. Yeah. Okay. 74 oh. dB's. Okay. So the level. Let's go. Uh, Tim. Ready for Tim? Set up to walk up for your sin. Talk to your friends and family about the shape you're in. Now, buddy, you don't want to miss the show. There's a dream in the distance. Catch it if you can. Find your spirit and ease the mind. Feel the need to shine. It's 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 a lovely sounding speaker. Mm -hmm. It's maybe less revealing than the Grim, but I little I'm less not, detail. I'm not distracted by anything. No, it's, it's comfortable. It's very comfortable. Yeah. You can listen to it for a very 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 long time. I think yeah. it's. Uh, I think this is even better than the SCM uh, we had in the previous stream. It was the yes. The hundred or more 50. coherent. That one was big. It was big, but this one is far more coherent. And yeah, you know, ATC is famous for its mid dome. The you see the huge mid dome uh, driver. The mid uh, driver. Yeah, the um, mid driver is famous. Sorry. The, uh, yes. And uh, well, that uh, actually we already wrote about it earlier. Um, yeah. The mid mid range makes or breaks your uh, your your mix. Agree. Definitely. Yeah? Yeah. What I do you think of the mid? The mid's <laughs> most important. <laughs> mid's most important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I, and uh, also, yeah. if we talk about mixing and listening to music, yeah. some noise it's important. If it's too clean, the recording. Yeah. If uh, I, I, if you oh. know, if you like analog sound in the yeah. end. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have. I like to add some extra. When I uh, record digital, I like to to add a little noise, <laughs> like a uh, like I'm tape recorded piece. it on tape. Oh, like cool. Tape saturation. Yeah. Because then you have this feeling of. The analog sound a little more. Imperfection. Realness. Maybe. Uh, yeah. That's weird, right? To yeah. add to yeah, add to it's add it's noise. It's for funny. Maybe for you guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I I never thought about that, but um I, 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 I think, think in video terms and some people with digital cameras record so clean they actually add film grain. Yep. To That's make also it. with phot- photography. It's the same. Yeah. 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 So we're black and white w- photography with some nice grain. It's nicer yeah. than, a c- uh, in my opinion, but yeah, it's, it's taste. more artistic. Yeah. It's taste. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah if yeah. you recorded a, uh, an album, uh, you recorded it on four-track cassette, in yeah, the yeah. Cam, and you released it on tape. How, how was it received by your by your fans, listeners? listeners. Well, if if you pl- if you play it like in in a car or, or at home, it's like I'm I'm at your dinner table <laughs> playing. And it also, you don't have to add any noise when you record through a uh, Tescam no, four it track. It's, it's, already <laughs> it's a noisy. lot of noise already. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. this is—I uh, like the sound of this um, speaker because it yeah. adds uh, some. It has this uh, analog vibe already. A little True. more. True, uh, but th- that's funny because um, well, there are some questions about the setup, and we didn't explain the setup as. Uh, uh, maybe first the the A to C. What? Yeah, uh, b- some brand information. There, about. there's some uh, important stuff, and I'm gonna explain to you guys what this what this A to C is all about. And you already have the web page. Uh, a to C is a British brand. Well, British hi-fi is world famous. Um, <laughs> it was founded in 1974. And it's called the Audio Transducer Company, ATC. But I couldn't find any company slogan. I mean, Grimm has driven to improve. Dutch and Dutch is uh, uh, rethink the loudspeaker. I couldn't find anything about ATC. Manufacturers <laughs> of the finest audio systems yeah, in the world. That's not a slogan, man. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's a statement. It's a statement. It's a statement. <laughs> <laughs> it has studio roots. Um, they actually created um, units at first, only driver units. And they invented the mid-dome. Mm-hmm. It, it's their invention and it's world famous. Now Pink Floyd uses it, uh, Supertramp used it. Uh, I think even Peter Gabriel uh, uses ATC. Uh, but now they make loudspeakers and preamps, power amps, uh, even a preamp with CD transport. Um, and about this speaker, it's a three-way, obviously. It's closed, so no bass reflex system whatsoever. And it's powered by how many watts? Uh, yes. uh, I have to. Th- it's 242 watts. And it's obviously active, so there's no filter components inside. It's completely separated by the amplifier. Um, we use a Passlabs XP12 preamp for all of them, and we drive all the loudspeakers analog. So we don't use any digital circuitry inside the speaker to make the test honest. We use a Metrum Acoustics Pavan DA converter and the Ambre streamer. And, and all wiring is with uh, Grim TPM. Uh, balanced. Yeah, balanced. Fully balanced system, uh, nothing else. So. That about ATC. We had some ATC loudspeakers. Even Jeffrey uses ATC SCM19s as a reference. Yeah. It's a very clean speaker, and he's fighting it <laughs> at home <laughs> because his acoustics are not. What's the price range of this kind of speaker? This is 8,900 a pair, right now. But in Which April, one? it's going to be 9,500 yeah. more. So, and if you think about, it, you need a DA converter to. Um, to use it in a digital system, and a, a decent DA converter is around three thousand mm-hmm. bucks. Or if you don't use, you, ha- you just need a preamp with. Uh yeah, but you don't need a preamp with the Dutch and Dutch or the Grim. That's true. Because it's it's volume control is inside. Yeah, but so it's, so it's it's below ten. But you need extra gear, and um, yeah. Um, so I think it's very well priced. I like it more than the big one we tested earlier. I just yeah, like this one is faster. It's faster. And it's, that's, it's that's, more that's more common because uh, uh, 
or understandable because I think when when you have fa faster, or bigger drivers, you really have problems with yeah with pace. Yeah, so you know speed. what's you know what's funny. This actually goes less deep than the Grim. Well, I love to hear it with a band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Then, yeah. then I can hear <laughs> then I can hear the difference. Yeah, let's let's play the next track. Otherwise, we're talking way too much. And. Uh, Yes, but it is well, you are interesting, but I'm not. So let's. Uh well, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very interesting. Yeah. Uh, let's play Bach as a next. Yeah. Let's see how the bass kick is. There we go. Sorry, we're d discussing a bit about this ATC. It's funny because um, one of our uh, writers, um, Tanapel, he writes about classical music. He said exactly what we were discussing about yet more punchy. And it's a very nice speaker, but the Grimm is a little bit more detailed. But that lacks the transparent mid-range, I think. It's, it, I love the balance in this loudspeaker. Yeah, this this is this is a whole this is lo a whole different sound. Yeah. Completely in my different. Opinion, yeah, it's yeah. it's it less detailed, especially on, on on the high range. Yeah, I think, yeah. and it's 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 got a lot more sweet mid range and low oh. is much better. Yeah, uh, we, you, we just discussed it about what would you, you know, when you're at home, what yeah. would you prefer? I prefer speakers like this because it's um, they're warm. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's comfortable. It's, it's the perfect balance for me in the living room. Exactly. Uh, the Grimm is really more detailed. So if you need mastering, it's perfect. the layering is yeah. exceptional in that loudspeaker. But this is just really nice at home. Do you th don't you think that the, uh, the studio version of the HC should be more neutral? It should be, but I have the feeling that this is more neutral. <laughs> 
I just really like. Uh, I was actually quite shocked last time because yeah, we heard yeah, this yeah. on on a couple of shows, and I was like, "Wow, I really like this yeah, one." This is this is very. Yeah. It just every time you I immediately hear the speakers, feel attracted it's good. to this one. Mm. Yeah. It, it, it's it's true. It's a really good balance, and uh, price-wise, it's even better than what I have at home. And I, I, I have a decent system at home, but I think this is just better and cheaper because mm -hmm. it's active. Mm -hmm. y you have everything in one loudspeaker. You just need a preamp. Yeah, that's it. And um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I yeah, I'm. So I'm it's it's also nice for vinyl because you just need a preamp. You don't. It's perfect. It's all you need. That's, yeah. I what, that's what I wanted to say. I think it's a good vinyl, and uh, this one. Yeah, it yeah. must be a perfect match. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't think a tube amp would be too much. I guess maybe. That will be a little bit too warm. I don't think they're really hard to drive though. Uh it's, it's active. active. It's Sorry. Because oh yeah, you can also <laughs> buy this one. The passive, passive version. Mm -hmm. there, there is a passive. So version. there. They're speaker manufacturers, so you don't have to buy their active systems. You no. also can buy a passive one. And then they are pretty easy to drive, actually. I do I think, think so. I think we saw them with Cord. ATC and these big No, you cord. said that, but that, that, wa the, uh, that was there. Rido. It was a Rido oh, no. system. Oh. It was That was like 500,000 euros, man. That was crazy. <laughs> it's insane stuff. <laughs> But this sounds better. No yes, kidding. Better. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yes, we went to does. the neighbors, <laughs> and the active uh, ATC system was better. Yeah, and it was sixty thousand euros. So Nothing. money doesn't say anything. Not at it, all. It, it, it's not important. Uh, let's say let's hear James Taylor. I'm curious about the voice. I'm curious about the drums. Yeah. Just yesterday morning, they let me know you were gone. Suzanne, the plans they made put an end to you. I walked out this morning and I wrote down this song. I just can't remember who to send it to. I've seen fire and I've seen rain. Seen sunny days that I thought would never end. I seen lonely times when I could not find a friend. But I always thought that I'd see you again. Won't you look down upon me, Jesus? You gotta help me make a stand. Just got to see me through another day My body's aching and my time is at hand I won't make it any other way Whoa, I've seen fire and I've seen rain I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end Seen lonely times when I could not find a friend, but I always thought that I'd see you again. Been walking my mind to an easy time, my back turned towards the sun. Lord knows when the cold wind blows, it'll turn your head around. Well, there's hours of time on the telephone line To talk about things to come Sweet dreams and flying machines In pieces on the ground Oh, I've seen fire and I've seen rain I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end I've seen lonely times when I could not But I always thought that I'd see you, baby, one more time again. Thought I'd see you one more time again. There's just a few things coming my way this time around now. Thought I'd see you, thought I'd see you finally now. 
wow. Yeah, this yeah. Is that was spectacular. Well, your relaxation, you were quite exploded. <laughs> the chat. Yeah, it even Jaap and I couldn't keep up I, with I, the. Uh, I can't keep up. <laughs> we uh, we gave up. It was. Um, it's, Tim, it's, it's, a whole, it's a whole different world. I mean, the first speaker is really a studio speaker with a lot of detail. This is more for the for the for the listener, for the music lover to yep. sit down and enjoy the the warmth of the recording and also the warmth of the speaker itself. It's really uh, overwhelming when you sit here. More to me, it is. it's also with when the strings come in. Yeah, you feel the strings like oh. a like a like a blanket. Yeah. of you know, it's really it, neat. It, it it floods the room and um, yeah. I was uh, uh, I, I it was like I could feel his voice and on the grim it was very accurate and very layered and very precise and it's built for us too. I have the same thing with I, I've been with a master engineer sitting next to a master engineer a couple of times. Yeah. It has exactly the same I I I'm, I don't prefer mastering speakers because it's so detailed and yeah. It's it's less for the listening like comfortable. It's it's, it's working material. It's exactly. yeah. instruments. It's a tool. It's, it's a, a tool. tool. And and this is this is just to re sit down and enjoy more. I don't know. Could you use this in the studio because this is I think as a reference reference speaker it, it's great but for I mastering. I uh, maybe for both. I mean, seriously? Why not for mixing? Yeah. I don't know. In the end, I mean, you need you need to check the lows, the mids, and the mm. and the highs, and I think it's all there, and especially with it's the mids. It's, it's all there. It's you're right. With the mi with the mid range, it's I think it's for mixing. It could it could be. Why not? Mm. But I think you can use any speaker to mix, to <laughs> check, <Of course>. to <laughs> to have a ref reference speaker. I yeah. mean. No, if you I know the speaker, if you know, you know, we, we had a, we had a discussion a couple months ago, and I, uh, someone in the chat asked what what kind of setup does Tim yeah. back home. Yeah. I, I I don't listen to music back home that much anymore, but I, I have I have a studio set up with Genelec speakers. Yeah, and yeah. it's it's the subwoofer. It, no, it's just two speakers. I, I I showed them to you a couple. Yeah, more yeah, yeah. I, I have no idea what kind of type it was. We but we asked Genelec, but. They, they they're not really into reviewing stuff. So no, but this I, I have this old Genelex, and I know how they sound because yeah. I used them for yeah. years now. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I use them. N yeah. They are not expensive, high end speakers. And uh, n next next door, the the what's the store called? Uh, yeah, Helios. 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 <laughs> Helios. They laughed at me <laughs> because I needed some uh, some uh, stands for the speakers. And what are you going to put in the stands? And I said, "Don't um, do that, Ulms." <laughs> and I said, <laughs> "Genelex." Nice. And he said, <laughs> "Genelex." But I, I uh, really love those speakers. But it's a, it's a different price range. And I, I and seriously, I really can't afford speakers like this. No, nah, but Yet. It, it, it's the yeah. same with with every genre. It's like with microphones or cameras. We use Panasonic's. Uh, I like them. It, it's exactly. You but need to uh, work. But with, with, with microphones, it's a. I I use Shoops. I use Neumanns. Uh, you know. Then then I invest my money. Yeah. On that side of the yeah so yeah because I, so the I'm, I'm not, I'm not mixing wrong. my own I'm not mixing it no. I record my stuff yeah. Yeah. and someone else mixes it so yeah. good yeah. I need to record it as good as possible true so it's speakers are less important but as a listener I'd love to you know maybe in the future I'd love to have a setup like this at home and enjoy it I might take these home after this uh, stream yeah I, I'll ask uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know I would like to uh, to uh, play a little short piece of a classic piece that is recorded with the very microphones we are listening to the two minutes two no 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 two less, minutes. less 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 than two minutes it's reviewed by uh martijn yeah the navel. uh it's called crust where is it and i'll put it is this <laughs>
recording was uh, made by Triptych, also a Dutch record label. Um, Brendan Heist, amazing recording engineer. Uh, he did this one. It's new uh, music uh, composed by a Dutch composer um, and played uh, with uh, three uh, percussion, cello and violin, I think. And uh, it's called Obscure Atlas, and a review yeah. you can find on our website. Uh, yeah, you, you can share a link, uh, Jung, uh, to TripTech, uh, uh, www.triptech.com or something. Um, I will. Um, or maybe a link to the review. Yeah, I'll, I'll send a link to the review. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful music. It's, it's not always my cup of tea what they record, but y you have to say they record exceptionally well and there's also a 5.1 recording yeah. and but e the stereo if you put on headphones it's like 3d it's amazing we have an announcement a small one um well a small one i don't know we're gonna uh, sell these dali loudspeakers um they're the rubicon 6 we used them for a year in our reviews and uh, Dali was kind enough to say, you know what, we don't want them back. We want you to uh, auction them. And the money goes to a, uh, a charity. charity. Yeah. So we want you to say, which charity do you want us to donate to? And we're going to uh, create a page on our website on which you can say how much you want to pay for these Dali speakers, the Rubicon 6. So you, it, it just goes to the highest bidder. We're not going to uh, hold on to them. Um, it's just, yeah, you, we want to do something back uh, to you and to uh, a nice charity. So if you have an idea about which one, maybe uh, Kika or uh, the Tim Knoll charity fund. Uh, no, 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 I don't <laughs> want it. Uh, Tim, uh, Tim Knoll, a better general like speakers at home. No, front. But maybe something with artists. I mean, they have a yeah. hard time during COVID. Uh, we're a musical platform. Um, yeah. So give us an idea. You can bid on the on these speakers. They're not flawless anymore. There's a small scratch on the on the top. We'll make a photo of it. But we got them that way. They've done their part in our reviews, and now you can buy them for some decent money. Without any further ado, Tim is going to play another song. And then we go to the Dutch and Dutch 8C loudspeaker. So, are you ready, Tim? Yes, I am. So, as soon as the sign goes on, it's your turn.
Dank je wel. Ta- de speakers al, jongens. Of, uh... Ja, moet ik nog iets ja, doen? Ja, doe nog maar één. Ja, ik wil, als jullie nog bezig zijn, dan spreek ik ja, nog wel even. Doe nog maar één nummer. Um, also a new one. It's called Light Years Better. Try not to think. Try not to feel. Noise. Yeah, there's only one thing to do. Um, oh, sorry. Think noise. Uh, Eric can start in the trailer of the D&D. Then we can do the microphone setup. So you don't need to listen to all the pink noise shit. So, Eric, start it in. I love pink noise. And then I'm gonna do the speaker setup. Misschien voor je dat wat langer doen. Dan die ander. Ja. Yeah. Een stuk harder. Is dat zo? Het was een beetje luider, maar ik was released. Het was 73.9. Nice man. Nee. Ja, maar dan 73. Ja. Nu is die exact gelijk. Oké. Okay. Het scheelde niet veel, hoor. Twee, twee tikjes. Thanks, Tim. Well, as a reader says, uh, as a payment for your very, very useful and down-to-earth input. I say you can take the ATCs home with you. 
<laughs> Look, you have well, Ronald, face. you can say that. <laughs> no. <but it's... laughs> well, that's very kind of the... Uh, well, maybe the... that... W- yeah. Oh. <laughs> maybe Holmes can write a check to Ronald and it's all set. Right? <laughs> Great. Thanks, Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thanks, man. Appreciate it, it, it. I'm okay with you getting these speakers, but... <laughs> I'm um, well. There, there's some independence issues between Alpha and giving away loudspeakers, but yeah, I no, don't don't no, 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 no. We're not giving away anything. Let's uh, talk about uh, Dutch and Dutch. Well, they're from uh, the Netherlands. Belgium. <laughs> um, they're from the the Netherlands. Founded in 2014, and they f- started focusing on hi-fi and studio in 2017. But before that, they already did some um, stuff for other companies, like developing uh, gear. Uh, This is like a studio speaker. It is, yeah. But you can also use it domestic. There's a consumer version and there's a pro version. So what we have right here? Mm, I think this is the consumer version because they look better. That's Mm. mainly the difference. Because there's some... um, nice quirky stuff with this loudspeaker it's completely dsp controlled so it's it's like the digital uh alpha male Mm -hmm. so to say uh their slogan is rethink the loudspeaker but on their website uh, about this loudspeaker it says accurate adaptive all in one and well that sums it up it is active it is accurate and it's all in one (laughs) um it has analog and digital inputs, like you could see on the on the video. And there's another thing, and I found it very interesting. This is a cardioid loudspeaker. Mm-hmm. So with microphones, you have cardioid speaker uh, uh, microphones. This is a cardioid loudspeaker. So it mainly projects forward mm. and not to the back wall. And it uses the back wall. It's called acoustic coupling, I think. Yeah, it's acoustically coupled to the back wall. But you could get a face issue if you bounce the, the, the bass to the wall and it comes back, you have alignment issues in, in bass. So the bass is not punchy and tight anymore. Hmm. That's corrected in the DSP. So like software with, with yeah. software. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Martijn uh, completely measured the room and uh, f- corrected all the stuff. But before you're wondering why it's so close to the wall, that's because of the acoustic coupling to the back wall. It needs to be placed to the wall. Yeah, and the studio version uh, uh, only lacks streaming. Ah, yeah, it has Ethernet inputs. I, yeah. I, I can't talk about that too much. So I was trying to avoid it, you. <laughs> okay, skip this one. There is. Don't listen to it. There will be. Sh- more possibilities concerning well, it's streaming. It's on their website. It's on their website. Okay. So I'm well, just reading out what's on the website. You so can stream, uh, and and there will be more possibilities. But um, this one picks up at 30 hertz, but it does reach 20 hertz. But I don't know with how many dBs off, because the 30 hertz to 20 kilohertz is plus minus one dB, dB yeah. and maybe 20 hertz is minus three or four dB. Yeah, could be. And these are 12,000 euros. So they're in line with the Grim, but these offer streaming, uh, but you need a stand mount. Hmm. That's um, that's about the Dutch and Dutch. Let's play some music. I'm really curious how your track sounds mm. on this one. Uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> You better walk on, said the doctor, walk up for your sin. And talk to your friends and family about the shape you're in. Now, buddy, you don't want to miss the show. There's a dream in the distance, catch it if you can. Find your spirit and ease the mind. Feel the need to shine. Feel the need to shine. Waiting for the day to break. Waiting for the night to fall. 
Get away from the riffraff in the city Escape from the howling hearts Over yonder they are waiting for you Over yonder they are love you too Now everybody You better walk on, said the doctor. Walk up for your sin. And talk to your friends and family about the shape you're in. Now, buddy, you don't want to miss the show. There's a dream in the distance. Catch it if you can. Find your spirit and ease the mind. Feel the need to shine. Feel the need to shine. Waiting for the day to break. Waiting for the night to fall. Get away from the riffraff in the city. Escape from the howling hearts. Over yonder they are waiting for you. Over yonder they are love you too. Now everybody has got to know it will be different from now on. Now, buddy, you don't want to miss the show. There's a dream in the distance. Catch it if you can. Find your spirit and ease the mind. Feel the need to shine. Feel the need to shine. Now, buddy, you don't want to miss the show. This is a much better speaker set to mix on. It's really accurate. Yeah, it's uh, it 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 felt very very clean. It is, yeah. And I was like, wow, it's really like he's standing over there. Yeah. The yeah. Same feeling as yeah. you're over there. Mm -hmm. And that's weird. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, because I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, you are yeah. right there. You're yeah. not there or there. You're there. Yeah. But it, it, your vocals are so clean on this loudspeaker. Yeah. It's uh, stunning. I'm going to get away that speaker because people don't like it standing there and they're actually right. So I'm going to take it away. Are we going to film that as well? Because <laughs> it's funny to if you lift up a heavy speaker like that. <laughs> Be careful for your back. We can uh, have the speaker lifting contest. <laughs> I will win. How would you describe the difference between the Grims and these? Well, it's this is less detailed as well. Less detailed. Yeah, the 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 Grimms for me are like super over detailed for me for my for my taste. This is also a comfortable sound, and I I kind of like these speakers because it reminds me of being in a recording studio and listening back a recording. I I I feel that. You know, now that all speakers are even, you, you, you notice they're more in line with each yeah, other yeah, quality-wise. Sure. That, that's very, that, that's very good. Comparable. Very comparable. But these sound like a studio to me. Yeah, well, when you just recorded something yeah. and then you go to the engineer and... Well, play it. Yeah, play <laughs> play, what, you just play. What, I, what I just recorded and then yeah. it sounds a little like... This is that, like this. You know, because my references are like that. I can't... Are these a little bit like your Genelex? Yeah, they are. I they didn't are, yeah. I, di I didn't want to. I didn't want to they say it be because inverted. it's it, it's like a ten thousand price different <laughs> difference. But uh, they are a little. They have this same uh, yeah, I, I same same uh, vibe. But, no, well, I ask because I, I heard 
Genelec, of course, once or twice, and it reminds me of Genelec. It's yeah, especially once you. I have, I think. But I think mine these are, are mine are older. Like mm. the, they, they are not new Genelec, so yeah, these are di this is this is much more. Um, this is much more much more detail. Yeah, much also more refined. In the, also in the low and uh, yeah. But maybe because, because Genelec is like flat. Yeah, but and I can't really mix on my Genelec no. because it's more like. Yeah. <laughs> also with uh, especially with the low. It's mm. difficult to to mix with low yeah. the lows on my Genelex. But this is a different range. Different okay. different different, different, uh, different league. league. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm I'm well I was stunned the first time we heard these. Yeah. Uh, in the first test they're really good speakers. Really and good. uh again, I really like it. It's relaxing but still very detailed and neutral. Oh the last time they were you know the uh, the most modestly priced at ten, <laughs> and then you had eighteen, thirty, yeah, 30 thirty-six uh, for the, and they were astonishingly good actually for the price mm. because you have everything you just need. Yeah, it's all in one box. You just need to um, a, yeah. a source actually, and then you're set. Can we say these are? Tonal wise or balance wise between the Grim and the ATC, they're more neutral than the ATC, but they're less detailed than the Grim. It's exac that's exactly what it is, I think. Yeah. yeah, and it's very studio like in that they are not overly warm, but also with the attack. Well, yeah, well, we're gonna listen to the attack well now. You will be blown away. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> but but, but the, when I strum the guitar at the end of my track, yeah. you hear more attack on sp this on, on this speaker than the, uh, the the one before. Yeah, yeah, they're very quick. That's uh, yes, a little bit, yeah. 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 It's, ah, it's probably yeah. because of okay, the let's the let's mid. Play Jacques. I I I know what you what you mean. It's uh, it's like my my pick, my plectrum. Yeah. Of th and yeah, it, it like feels you feel a little landing on the guitar. It's like yeah, really. Yeah, but dynamic. I I kind of prefer the blanket of the one before the yeah. the, the warmth that's, that's yeah, the warmth yeah let's uh, try Jacques.
I would say the Grims are most detailed. Yeah. Then yeah. these speakers. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. And these the speed of these in the bass is exceptional. But you can get that speed with the Grim if you add the subs. Mm -hmm. And yeah. especially the DMF subs are insane. Yeah, but then you're you Yeah, yeah, well it will cost you. Um, double, double price, more than double. Yeah, true. But um yeah, well, th th that's that's the hard part of uh, of a system. What are you looking for? This this is an all-in-one solution, but you can't expand. This is it. Yeah. Uh, with the Grim, you can attach all sorts of all sorts, of, all sorts, sorts of, stuff of stuff. Yeah. To your liking, you want a controller? Here you go. You want subs? Here you go. Yeah. Um, so that that I yeah. there is some grow, but uh, if if you want to. It dep I think it depends on the how on much room you have <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as well. I yeah, mean, these are true. great speakers if you are. I think this is a, this is a big room. Yeah, it's but really if you big. if you have uh, like um, I don't know, like a s uh, great uh, mixing studio at home in your garage, this will do. You don't. You don't. You can't. No, you don't need that. You you can't put extra subs. Yeah. Uh, this is perfect. I mm. did get some uh, uh, feedback, uh, and and he is actually right. Uh, attack is n has nothing to do with the speed, but all with phase, with phase coherency, and that's actually uh, uh, that 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 is true, because yeah. if it, th that's why the the whole boundary DSP stuff you, you fire base to the to the back wall and it comes back. If mm -hmm. you don't correct that in time, mm -hmm. it doesn't have the attack. Hmm. Then it gets smeared, and it only takes a couple of milliseconds to get that wrong. That's why the microphones, it was pointing like this and then this, and it's suddenly it is in phase. Um, so that that's uh, thank you for the feedback. Hmm. I th again, I, I I do like the sound. It, it's a very nice sounding, accurate loudspeaker, and well, you feel like you're in the studio. Yeah, but uh, not for not not for. Uh this is not a speaker for me what to uh, to have at home, like a home system. Mm. It's it's too. It, I think I'm I'm gonna be tired after listening. Mm. Because you hear too, too long. much. A yeah, lot of yeah. Le let's try James Taylor first. I let's I'm try it because I yeah, I'm that's I'm the best that reference. That was for you the, a better reference. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um. Yeah, James Taylor. Q. Uh, I can do that here. Le I, I'm curious. Just yesterday morning They let me know you were gone Suzanne, the plans they made Put an end to you I walked out this morning and I wrote down this song I just can't remember who to send it to I've seen fire and I've seen rain I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend but I always thought that I'd see you again Won't you look down upon me, Jesus You gotta help me make a stand You just got to see me through another day My body's aching and my time is at hand I won't make it any other way Oh, I've seen fire and I've seen rain I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend But I always thought that I'd see you again Time. My 
My back turned towards the sun Lord knows when the cold wind blows It'll turn your head around Well, there's hours the time on the telephone line To talk about things to come Sweet dreams and flying machines In pieces on the ground seen lonely times when I could not find a friend But I always thought that I'd see you, baby One more time again now. Thought I'd see you one more time again There's just a few things coming my way this time Well, 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 three completely different speakers. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. definitely yeah. um, I think the Dutch and Dutch and the Grimm have some similarities concerning the philosophy, clean, neutral sound. Modern. Digital. digital. Modern, digital, exactly. Um, both are DSP controlled. Uh, this one is actually equalized to the room. The Grimm wasn't, uh, but it had the face uh, composition. A to C is full analog. Well, I think I just I prefer the A to C over all. Of, yeah, yeah. With a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it it's uh, also I think British the the uh, Brit the uh, English uh, producers of sounds. microphones and yeah. speakers are just legendary. And also with the Coles microphones, th th those are great microphones, uh, ribbon microphones for over drums. Coles. They have this yeah, great warmth. Yeah. It's, uh, it's what the Beatles, the Beatles used uh, also for drums. Oh, uh, wow. It's really nice microphone. I don't know. When I listen to those speakers, it reminds me of the that sound. It's but really good. I, I'm I'm kind of curious. I, I have a philosophy about neutrality in in a system, and I always think I want to hear your recording as clean as possible. As clean as possible, because yeah. your guy behind the the mixing table mm -hmm. makes certain choices, yeah. and you vote in like you know a little bit more this, a little bit more that. I want to hear you, mm -hmm. and I don't want to hear the interpretation of the producer. The, sorry, the, the, the producer of the loudspeaker. Mm -hmm. Because his philosophy is not your philosophy. It's true. Well, well when I compared the, my recording f with those three, mm -hmm. I think the second speaker is the closest to what I, yeah. I want to hear. Yeah, what you want to hear. What I want to hear. Okay. Not, yeah. not if it's... Maybe it, 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 it adds <laughs> some sound, yes. adds some... Uh, it does because, but you, you guys are all into these kind of speakers. And no, I it, it's it's all a matter of tape. These it's are three completely different loudspeakers, yeah. and uh, you you can prefer you can prefer the ATC. I can prefer the the Dutch and Dutch, and you can prefer the Grimm. It's yeah, all yeah. And I don't fully agree with you on uh, that. The artists controls the engineers. Sometimes you have mastering engineers, recording engineers, who you, who I know are very good in. Uh, in, in making a stereo image. Yeah. Or Especially when lots of artists, they have no interest in it. They just want to... No? No, not every artist no. is interested in... No. Some just want to record. They have no idea. Or they can have a great balance between the channels. Because yeah. you, you just, you know, you're making a good track and it's all there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you just listen it back, it's, well, it's not totally one piece of of meat or so but <laughs> it's <laughs> a little bit chaotic and then a good recording engineer yeah I, you must agree he can make a transparent mix out of it okay it's, it's the most important and most difficult yes. thing in the whole uh, mixing 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 and, and mastering so he can uh, okay. uh, um, so many choices to make it's unbelievable and it's impossible you can make or it's break. impossible for you or for me uh, to to make these choices because that's that's Martijn's and Rina's uh, their, their profession. Especially in the low and true, and true. In, the, in, the, in, in the low end range, yeah. you can mess up so quick. 
and that's the most yeah, difficult the thing yeah. uh, when you when you record at home and you want to make a quick mix to listen yeah. mm -hmm. it's almost all the time the lows are too, no, too much agree. here at james taylor you have these cellos you have yeah. the bass you have the kick drum yeah. you have the low end of the voice you have the bass uh yeah. the bass playing you have all these th it's very muddy in, in in that range so you have to make choices to m in order to make it transparent and that's why he did this mix is so nice mm -hmm. yeah we all know that uh, sander van der heide uh, mixed uh, bluff uh, yeah. for a long time there and i could actually hear when he swapped speakers on all the right. cd i didn't know yeah. and i said well that album sounds differently from that album and he said oh that's funny because we swapped loudspeakers right. in the mastering room and he added more bass in one album than in the other one because uh, the speaker didn't yeah. well the sp speaker did produce more and then oh you are yeah. your tendency to use more bass mm. is there i thought it was the other way around but it's, okay. it's interesting yeah it's really interesting but um well i think we we but i have to say guys it's a great experience to sit in this room and listen to high-end speakers like <laughs> 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 all of them are amazing to listen to yeah. but it's just also a little bit of personal taste there even. is always taste yeah well and yeah in we we all have taste you know I you see in 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 uh recent days you cannot buy bad stuff anymore no you know even no. even the sonos even even a sound even. bar <laughs> can sound pretty, pretty good pretty and pretty even good. a mono system i have libratone still have and it's st it sounds amazing for i don't know 300 euros 200 euros. yeah something like that yeah um so it's all a matter of taste and even if you go higher it's a matter of uh well the, these are exquisite taste or detail yeah or what, or what what's of your liking or your use or yeah, your what room. do you need but yeah if you if you record um classical music all the time it's necessary you really need those uh, strumming to hear the strumming and the highs yeah. Yeah. really neat but when you uh, record like a rock band it's mo more important you yeah. have to punch true but the fact that we're talking about minor differences mm. when he, the ADC does sound different but it's not better or worse than the other no. just like the Grimm it's another speaker than the Dutch and Dutch and the ADC but they're I think they're quite. But what's astonishing is that it's quite equal. You know, we have. I think ATC is one of the market leaders yep. in analog Definitely. amplification and and um, speaker technology, and we have one of the Dutch very uh, reputed brands in digital technology. And it's not that that one is crap and one is not crap. It's no, it's, it's not different. a competition. It's different. It's not a competition. And at they're all. both it's good. You know, it's yeah, amazing yeah. how this ATC can still compete with these digital guys mm -hmm. or girls i don't know <laughs> someone's saying i have to offer you a good deal but I, we don't sell anything people <laughs> it has to be helios to to, to make the deal for the atcs <laughs> they all say he deserves it he's a great guy and you're very no, honest no, 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 <laughs> but um we don't sell we anything we just review, review stuff website. yeah we, we just review stuff it's too kind though but uh, yeah uh, I, I'm, I'm going to save some money for it. Yeah, that's maybe a, that's you a good can trade idea. in your Genelex for this one too, <laughs> 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 because they're yours, you know. We don't sell with Tim Knoll signature <laughs> edition. Uh, and yeah. by the way, we're I'm trying to keep up with the chat, but it's t uh, yes, yeah, I, I also we forgot. We need to Sorry. talk we'll as well, do that so later. I, I can't answer all the questions, but there, we we will try to read them back and get your feedback in the review uh, as soon as possible. But. Um, you have one more track to play. Oh, do I? Okay. Yeah, one, if one if uh, you want to. Sure. Uh, I'd love to. Well, I think we summarized it pretty decently. Yeah, um, we did. You know, they all have their strengths and they all have their differences. I mean, they're not weaknesses. Uh, I think the ATC sounds incredibly good for an analog loudspeaker. The Dutch and Dutch is like a Swiss army knife. You can do everything with it. You can mm. DSP it the way you like. If you want more bass, you tune in more bass and the grim is a modular system so if you want something to grow with you you can add subwoofers you can add controllers but and everything but for me I, I, so you also have some app app for yeah and you can add some more bass in the you can tune it any way you like all right and, and and we tuned it oh that's maybe very important to yeah. say we tuned it flat uh we tuned it completely flat so okay the whole room mode uh, up to 100 hertz is pretty much 
tuned down. So it was not like a ruler, but it was pretty much neutral. Hmm. If you want more bass, you can add more bass. But this is a very big room. And if we did that with the Grim or the D&D, it would just clip. Hmm. You have no idea how much power bass asks. Mm. Yeah. If you say I want three more dBs, that's why probably the power. a smaller room would be perfect for speakers yeah. like this. Definitely, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a very, very big room. Yeah. Um, so thank right. you for tuning in with us. Tim is gonna play one more track for you guys, and remember, I'm gonna take two more minutes for our lovely dalis. You can bid on these, and we will donate your money to a charity. So leave in the comments the charity you like, and in, in if the there are via the mail, toch? And, uh, yeah, and you can go to www.alpha-audio.nl or dash audio.net. Um, we're gonna put it in the newsletter, but these are gonna be auctioned to you. Thank you for watching. Give Tim a heads up, and uh, he's gonna play one more track, and we'll see you next time. Two years ago I recorded a bluegrass record and this is one of the songs. I was lost in the willow garden where the pears on trees somewhere drowned in the river left me out in the willow so fine oh that song about the willow garden I can't get it Burgundy wine Don't end up With a scuffled eye What a river in red And the ice in the wet Oh, what a shame You'll drag me down Oh, my dear Miss Rose Garden Scabbled eye. Thank you. Do you want to take a quick alpha?